My name is Brad, baby. Represent this New York City thing to the fullest. Team Bang Dope Gang on deck. And this is Real Fans, Real Talk. Respect it. Face facts, what up, what up? Real fans, real talk.com. Well, Arthur Diamond's trip young and intern time. For the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats, man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And if your brain checks out, then you deserve a backhand. <laughs> Sports, gossip, all the hot topics. Hey, hey. Real fans, real talk.com got it. Uh -huh. They got the hottest bloggers. Is Jeremy Linhart? We'll log on to the site and you can hear it from them first. Mm. I'm talking about the latest. Yeah, I'm talking yeah. about the greatest. Yeah, yeah. Go check out the art. Even tell a neighbor, tell her Bobby sent ya. From spring to winter, tuning in should be the only thing on your agenda. Certified coach, son, you know what I'm about, son. Real fans, real talk dot com. I'm out one. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk dot com. Real fans, real talk dot com. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk dot com. Real fans, real talk dot com. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another live episode of Real Fans, Real Talk. I'm Mark the Statman Skevich. We got another great show lined up for you tonight. A lot going on in sports. I'm coming fresh off of returning to the football field for the Brooklyn Mariners, so I'm in a great mood right now. Uh, Yankees still looking good, a lot going on in the sports world, but before we get into the sports topics for the evening, let me introduce my co-host, the one and only Trip Young. What's going on, Trip? What's going on, Statman? It's been a great, great week in sports and just in general. It's been a great week, but I am definitely glad to be back on the air because we do have some things to discuss uh very excited this weekend birthday weekend you know i'm gonna get to celebrate that with wifey boo you know she's back in town you know for the u.s open and whatnot so it makes the birthdays a, a little bit a little bit better and then you know right after the birthday she'll go into the tournament and you know she'll complete that uh calendar grand slam so you know looking forward to it but let's let's get into it man all right well first of all happy birthday in advance and so uh, this is, is the last show before your birthday trip so mm -hmm. just wanted to give you a shout out on the air and of course I'm wearing the Yankee jersey. We got to open up with the Yankees. Uh, tough loss last night as uh, Severino uh, makes his debut, uh, a two to one loss for the Yankees. But overall, they're still looking very strong. It, it's just a tougher loss when it goes to the Red Sox, e even though the Red Sox are dead last. And I want to say that once again, the Red Sox are dead last and not even coming close to being second to last. They are 13 games behind the Yankees. <laughs> And um, another uh, six and a half behind the uh, Rays, and over, you know who are second to last, so they were way down on the bottom. <laughs> I just want to emphasize that. But the Yankees, uh, a comfortable four and a half game lead against the Blue Jays. Uh, Mark Teixeira and A Rod, we've been talking about both of them. Uh, you know, giving the Bronx Bombers their names, hit hitting home runs uh, at a very uh, impressive rate this season. Uh, Mark Teixeira has reached uh, base safely for 22 consecutive games. That is the longest active streak in baseball. So that's uh, one of the stats for you on Mark Teixeira. But uh, I've been saying it all year. I'm very surprised at how well the Yankees are doing. And uh, they play, they're play. they playing as we speak against the Red Sox. And I feel that... Uh, you know they'll 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 bounce back after the tough loss last night. Yeah, I mean they're, they're playing right now. Of course, the Yankees will, will bounce back. Um, I'm I am glad that I saw a, a good performance from Severino. I know they lost the game, but he only he gave up two runs. You know the Yankees bats weren't there last night like they have been. I mean like they were the game before, a couple of games ago. It happens sometimes. He didn't get the run support behind him. You know so but to only give up two runs that's not bad for his debut. And but you know, not not to take anything away from him, two runs is impressive. But he was doing it against the Red Sox, and the Red Sox kind of sucks. So, well, you know, I mean, they still it, got some hitters out there. Yeah, you know, no, I you know. know. It's just I just want to add insult to injury as I continue to you know crap on the Red Sox a little bit. But, yeah, I mean, uh, I'd I'd like for for I would like to win. Of course, I would love to win. You know, but I'm just glad that he actually played some some pretty decent baseball. And I mean, they're talking about him being the 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 best. Uh, pitching prospect in like 10 years so um I, I i like what i saw from him last night i'm looking forward to seeing him again hopefully you know he'll continue to improve because the pitching rotation right now we're, we're looking good 
you know, uh, the, the the bullpen is definitely looking good. Everybody's playing well right now. So to have another young guy come in right now, this is a good point in the season for him to come in because the Yankees are playing so so well. So if he can come in, you know, get a couple of, of wins before the season is out, you know, get that confidence up, maybe get a little run in the playoffs, and then next season come back with a vengeance, you know, really having learned. Because they're going to make the playoffs this year, so it's going to be a definite a learning experience for him. I mean, you, you could tell he's got nerves of steel. I mean, I, I made a little joke about the Red Sox, but at the same time, when it's Yankees-Red Sox, that's a huge rivalry. So uh, he, he's definitely in the spotlight, even though the, the Red Sox are dead last. There's still It's still a huge rivalry, and for your day, Yankee debut as a, as a starter to come in there, uh, face the Red Sox and only give up two runs. Yeah. Uh, it, it's still. If he gave up question. six, I'd have been tight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it, maybe. It, but it, I can take two. It, it's very impressive, and it's good for Yankee fans to add another uh, great player to the roster. Mm -hmm. And you know they're they're looking very good. The World World Series expectations are not uh, just the Yankee bias statement. It is a legitimate possibility that the Yankees can uh, c come up with, a, with another their 28th title this year. I would definitely uh, love to uh, to see that happen. That would be a great. The, the ticket tape parade would be phenomenal, to say the least. At this point, like it would be the biggest party in New York in a long time uh, if, the, if the Yankees did win a World Series, which they are definitely capable of doing because the team – it's playing overall. They're playing some really good baseball. Like we, the last couple of years, it's been the hitting was dead and the pitching wasn't. Well, the pitching was dead and the hitting wasn't. But now we actually have the hitting and the pitching working. You know, very well. They're playing defense. You know, and then you're being powered by two guys that really kind of want to prove themselves once again because we haven't seen Teixeira healthy in a couple of seasons. You know, honestly, I haven't really seen Teixeira healthy since they won the World Series the last time. And You know, so now coming into this season, you you take that, then you have A-Rod who really has to prove himself coming off the suspension, being another year older, you know, just turning to 40. And, you know, he he wants to, to, to get some thing for his legacy, you know, if he can come back now and lead the Yankees to a World Series after going through all of that, that would be amazing, especially at 40 years old. So you got to respect that. So they got a lot to prove this season, and they're looking pretty well. The young guys are clicking with the, uh, with the, with the veterans on the team. You know, Girardi's doing a great job right now, and everybody's, you know, they, they, they're playing some great baseball. They're winning. You got to love it. 14 games over 500 right now at the beginning of the season – did you did you think that the Yankees would be in first place with a commanding lead like this? Yeah, I mean, first place is a stretch as it is. American League East is very competitive. A lot of uh, talented teams out there. And, you know, the second place spot is really neck and neck. Uh, the Blue Jays, Orioles, and Rays all within two games of each other. Um, so it's it's definitely a tight race. Four and a half for, for the Blue Jays, five and a half for the Orioles, and then two games behind them, the Rays. So... It's going to be very interesting, and we mentioned it before. Chances are we're going to have uh, the, the Yankees win the division and, you know, one of those other teams taking one of the wild card spots. The Angels are holding on to it now, but only a game ahead mm -hmm. of the Blue Jays. So th that's going to be They're playing some, to some great baseball right now, too, you know. They, they, they had a, a very good uh, end to the trade deadline, you know, picking up some key pieces, and they're actually playing some good baseball. I mean... Baltimore is not not even really playing that that bad as well, you know. So, it, that could be a coin toss. But the, both of those teams, one of them could definitely be in that wild wild card spot. Yeah, definitely. And you mentioned uh, Teixeira and A Rod. You know, we haven't had Tex healthy since two thousand nine. Obviously, A Rod the suspension. We have both of them, just like we had in two thousand nine. So mm -hmm. hopefully that does lead to another title. But we do have some injuries. Uh, out there throughout the league, uh, you want to get into some of the injuries uh, that we got going on in baseball? Well, the most week? important one is Brian McCann from the Yankees. We got, we got to start off with that one. But uh, it was just a, a a little knee injury, so he should be back in a couple of days. He's going to just rest it. He said that, you know, he, he's feeling fine, but they're going to just rest it because, you, you know, you, Especially this this time of the season, you don't want to push it with you know with your key guys out there. So definitely, you know, glad that he's going to be okay though. And then uh, you got uh, C J Wilson, who's supposed to be having season-ending surgery, which kind of sucks. You know, anytime you go, you go down for the season. 
it's a uh, it's a bad thing. But since he doesn't play for the Yankees, I'm not gonna be too mad that he's out of the season, you know? Because he, hey, listen, that's that's the competition right there. Yeah, anytime you see one of your players go down on your team, your heart stops kind of a little bit. But uh, good news for McCann is he he won't be out for too long. And still plenty of time before the playoffs for him to recover. Uh, Pineda's, Pineda's out as well until September. Um, so that about wraps up with some of the major injuries for this past week. And we talk about the Yankees, and this is a rare time on Real Fans Real Talk. I think the first time in Real Fans Real Talk's existence <laughs> that... We are not, you know, we're still going to make fun of the Mets, but they are actually looking amazing, just like, they're actually living up to the nickname. Yeah. The, yeah. the Mets had the nickname The Amazing since the 1969 season where they shocked the world and came out there and won the World Series. They are legitimately looking amazing now, and uh, getting acquiring Cespedes was a huge move for them. They're looking very strong and uh, taking a fan mail question from uh, Joe from Flushing says, over or under 40% chance the Mets hold on and win the National League East. I mean, right now they're a game and a half ahead of the Nationals who they swept uh, after acquiring Cespedes. And I think that... Um, I'm going to have to go with the over. I mean, it's, you know, a game and a half, but I mean, you could say it's somewhere around 50 50, but they have the lead and, you know, they're going to be playing the Nationals again. Uh, you know, ho hopefully they, they can continue their uh, winning streak against them and, and, and hold on to that lead. Uh, I'm going to say over 40. 40% uh, 40 sounds just about right, but I'm going to say uh, slightly over, maybe 42, 45% chance. I mean, the, the next plays down is, uh, you know, the Braves who are 10 games behind. So it's really between two teams. So you got to say it's somewhere probably even around 50%. So Now, I'm going to go with the under on, on that because I'm just, it's you know, yeah. it's the Mets. And looking at <laughs> the, the history of the Mets, we know that seven-game leads are not secure with the Mets. So I got to go with the under on that one. You know, um, the Nationals – been in a, a little bit of a of a hitting slump the past couple of games, you know, and it didn't it didn't hurt that they ran into a, a red hot Mets team, you know. So, I I just it's the possible the Mets can do it, they can hang on, but I just can't say over forty. I'm probably at about thirty percent chance that they'll win the <laughs> National League East, you know, just because it's the Mets, man. I can't they, you can't count on them when it really counts. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I hear you. I mean, it's it's, it's the Mets that they, they find they manage to find. You know, there's the great teams out there that manage <laughs> to find a way to get things done. The Mets do the complete opposite. They manage to find a way to screw things up. So, um, you know, I, I hear what you're saying, but I think that you know they they got a lot of talent this year. They're playing uh, very well. Um, you know, p hopefully for Mets fans' sakes that you know that you're wrong on that trip, but. Uh,